It's 935 KD Morning Show, your boy Romeo. It is Friday, getting you ready for the weekend. And um, I've done radio for probably 20 years. And it is an honor. It is a blessing to have these two legendary artists in the studio with me right now. We're talking Pete Nice from Third Base and, of course, Paradise X Clan in the building. Yo, you. what up? What up, Yo. what up? What up, what up? Y'all touched down on the west side. And, of course, off the air, Pete Nice, we were talking about K-Day back in the day. And you were uh-huh. mentioning back then when it was AM, you guys gave away a Jeep on K-Day back yeah, in the day? Yeah, we gave away a Jeep for an album party. And you guys definitely were not in this location. We were up in the hills. <laughs> it was a whole like, different situation. It was situation. like the desert. You yeah. Know. Yeah, All yeah. the way up. And, and actually, you guys, well, we collect things for the Hip Hop Museum mm-hmm. as the curators. And there was an auction that had one of the original K-Day signs from outside, like up on the building. Yeah. So there's relics out there from the original K-Day. Yeah, man. That Still we're trying to track down. Oh, yeah. Celebrating our 40th anniversary. And, of course, Hip Hop has its 50th birthday this year. And with that, of course, Entertainment Group, Master Pill, and Ciroc Ultra Premium Vodka. They're all about doing this museum. So let's talk about that, why you're here on the West Side, and how excited. First things first, I want to say this. They got it right by having you two in here talking about it. Yeah. The Appreciate foundation that. And you know hip-hop. this. So Paradise, you see where hip hop and where it's going and how it's grown. I want to know, did the culture and did we get it right celebrating the 50th birthday this year? Is there anything you felt like we didn't touch on enough for the 50 years of hip hop? Paradise, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, well, absolutely. Uh, First of all, the anniversary is August 11th, 2023 Mm -hmm. to August 11th, 2024. Mm -hmm. So we'll be at this all year. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's a lot of stories to tell. It was only fitting that we started in New York telling the New York stories, but the West Coast, the South, Detroit, Chicago, uh, St. Louis, all of the stories are important. It's very important, and that's why I really uh, thank Master Pill and Ciroc for this tour so that we could take it around the country and let everybody know that all hip-hop history is important. Yes, Not just the so-called beginning of the culture, but all of the culture. And uh, I love I love the celebrations. And one of my favorite moments of the 50th anniversary mm-hmm. was Yankee Stadium when Snoop Dogg came out. Come on now, talk about it. Hey, let me tell you something about my man Snoop. Uh-huh. Snoop is a hero of hip-hop. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And what he did in the Bronx was for the ages. Yeah. You know, he brought out um, so many artists, young and old, and I give major props to Snoop. Love you, bro. Yeah, man. He brought D- out DJ Hollywood. DJ, DJ Hollywood. Hollywood. When he did that, what? I was like, what are we doing? Right. Big exactly. props to Snoop. Snoop but that's what is Snoop does. He, he really, really is. And Pete Knight, you want to speak on that 50 years of hip-hop, the way we've been celebrating it, <clears throat> excuse me, through all the concerts, you know, going around through all the award shows. Is there anything that may have been overlooked you feel like we should touch on a little bit more? Well, the, the actual date itself mm-hmm. is based on this Cool Heart party. And... Cool Herc have like we we collect all the relics of hip hop. So it, Cool Herc even had parties before that. Mm-hmm. Cool Herc had parties in Sedgwick after that. So that's kind of like we look at that as like a memorial type date. Yeah. Where if you come to Hudson Loft, where we have this whole traveling exhibition, twelve hundred South Hope Street, we have like one of the original index cards from Herc's party at Sedgwick mm-hmm. in nineteen seventy three, and we have the actual trunk. That yeah. her kept all his 45s and records did to bring to the all those parties. Funk. This was the trunk that was in Sedgwick in the community room. Yeah. And it's just like living history right there. So we look at the, the 50th date as, you know, a, a milestone and something where we can honor everyone in hip hop. Yeah. But there are guys who say, yo, it started in 72. DJ Smokey from Grand Avenue in Bronx, who was Cool Herc's nemesis. Number one you, nemesis. You ask yeah. Herc. His name was Dominguez, DJ Smokey. So you, mm-hmm. if you get Herc, you say, Herc, what about Dominguez? And he'll go, ah, my nemesis, Dominguez. Wow. So that, this is a guy who was his main competitor. Who, No one in your audience is going to know who DJ Smokey is. So yeah. DJ Smokey's still around, and we're able to give him his flowers right now as well. Almighty KG brought him to Yankee Stadium, and people got to meet him too. Yes, so sir. That's, yes. The, the important part is to give the respect and honor yeah. to those were the true founders of hip hop. And that's why I'm excited about the hip hop museum that it's going down because it's important that this is one of the most popular genres of music in the world. We've seen how it grown. You guys are part of the foundation of how hip hop was built. Do you like the way the direction that hip hop is going now? We know it has to evolve. So Paradise, do you like what you're seeing in hip hop or are you wish some things could change? 
I like what I'm seeing in hip hop, but there's a difference between hip hop culture and the rap industrial complex. Okay. You know, but young people created hip hop. You know, teenagers and preteens created hip hop. And when we were creating hip hop, we had a problem with our elders. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think it's hypocritical for us who are older now to be as critical as we are on young people who make hip hop. You know, especially if we're not contributing to their knowledge, Mm -hmm. wisdom, and understanding. You know, we often leave the fifth element out of the conversation, but hip hop comes from the so-called black community. And as our community goes, so will hip hop. So while we're having a 50th anniversary and we're celebrating all this success, yeah. look at the lack of success in our community and we got a lot of work to do. But we ain't mad at young people for not knowing what we didn't teach them. So we out here, y'all. We still here. Yeah. We still learning. We still teaching. I think hip hop is in great hands with the young. Paradise from X Clan, of course, Pete Nice from Third Base. What are your thoughts on that right there, my man? Well, I'd like to bring, because we're on the West Coast, yeah. just the impact of the history of hip hop in the West Coast, throughout the world, but how there was definitely a bridge between the East Coast and West Coast. Like, I give you a shout out to my boys, L.A. Posse. Yeah. They, them and Africa Islam were two of the earliest bridges between New York City and the West Coast and just the melding of both sounds. Mm-hmm. And when you look at all the influences, the Arabian Prince, Egyptian love, all, all the people that LL with, with L.A. Posse, everyone yeah. who collaborated and just came up with these new sounds, you know, groundbreaking, legendary, and that's like the foundation of West Coast hip hop. And that's yeah. one of the things that we're trying to collect, all the artifacts related to that. And, yeah. you know, we've had Ice-T's been great with us supporting the museum, Africa Islam, you know. It's, it's and the incredible. list goes on and on. So oh, we're, yeah. We're, we're, you know, we're reaching out to all our, all our brothers out here. We, we know people are coming out. Uh, we, we, were in, we were in Atlanta, mm-hmm. and DJ Reddy Red from uh, the Ghetto Boys, rest in peace, his sister Ada came with his fedora that he had on the, the cover of the first Ghetto Boy album. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, and then we moved that right into the case right when we went into Houston. Yeah. So, I mean, the artifacts tell the stories of the artists. Snap, if I can't to show your boy Romeo hanging out with Pete Nice from Third Base, of course, X Clan from Paradise. Paradise from X Clan. I'm just excited because this is my first time chopping up with y'all, man, face to face. And when I think about hip hop royalty, I know that I'm looking at it. And I want to take time and just thank you all for what you've done for the culture, what you've done for hip hop and being for that foundation. Because you think about the game now, right, with social media and how at the click of the button, you can just sing your records all over the world. Is that something you would want now or did you love the fact that we had to go grind? You had to go city to city, radio station to radio station. Do you admire that or do you wish you had it the way it is now? I admire it because technology always... uh followed behind hip hop, Mm. you know what I'm saying? And there was many hip hop pioneers such as myself that also pioneered online digital music, like my boy Daddy-O, Chuck D. And I lived in San Diego for four years from 98 to early 2000s. And uh, I worked at mp3.com pre-IPO and helped invent the current online streaming media at mp3.com. Shout out to my boy Tahir and all my old mp3.com people out here on the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? So hip-hop helped develop the internet. Don't get it twisted. Mm, Okay. All right. Like back in the day, we had to come to see Greg Mack. Yeah. They go station to station. So there's something to be said about the the history of hip-hop. Radio was so important in the development of hip-hop. All the mix shows and rap shows. I see we got Nasty Ness on our guest list tonight. All, All these, you know, radio DJs from all the urban stations, the college stations. So that's kind of like a different world, you know, from, from where kids are at now who are yeah. coming up rhyming and DJing. It was nothing like that, man, just getting out there, just grinding in the streets right. like that, tr- hopping in a car or a van, going city to city to push yeah. that record, man. Of course, all that's going to be talked about, discussed, and seeing the hip-hop museum is going down. Make sure you pull up tomorrow from 11 to 7. You can just pull up. It's absolutely free at the Hudson Loft starting at 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., and the address is 1200 South Hope Street. So... Be and nice. it's free. And it's absolutely free. And it's, come on, yeah. to admire come and on. to absorb the hip-hop culture, you got to do that. So well, get We got the history the game. from 1973 all the way up 1990. to 1990. Yeah. And, you know, we got a, a lot of great artifacts that are going to bring people back and, you know, just take them to the point where they can appreciate how far hip-hop has come. Yeah. 
And as we open up the big museum in the Bronx, 2025, people are going to have to make that pilgrimage back to where it all began. Definitely, yeah. definitely. And um, so Pete Nice come into the game. Who were some of the artists around you or men came out right before you that motivated you? So when you put your pen to the paper, who inspired you? Well, Paradise's old partner, Professor X from X Clan, rest in peace, Lumumba, he was my manager. So he managed Just Ice, the hip hop gangster. So that was like, my idol was Just yes. Ice. Okay. I got down with Lumumba because I'm like, yo, this dude's got Just Ice. You know, <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. So, so like early, early on, guys like Just Ice and then Tila Rock. And, you know, but then Paradise, when he had the Latin Quarter, yeah. you know, he's putting on Rakim, Kane. So that's like the golden era. That, those are the guys that really inspired us. Okay. Paradise, what about you? Like, who inspired you when you put that pen to the paper? Oh, wow. Uh, the Last Poets, The Watch Prophets, Amiri Baraka, H. Rap Brown, Muhammad Ali. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Of course, Hollywood, Lovebug Starsky, Pete DJ Jones, Grandmaster Flowers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Disco King Mario, you know, um, so many incredible DJs and MCs came before me, you know, that uh, held it down and uh, showed me how to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's like speaking of Hollywood, the we got a lot of people who are making donations to the museum. We had a guy who had this company called DEG Productions back in the 70s, mm -hmm. and he had the original tickets for Hollywood Jams in like 1978, Hollywood Rocks the World. So, you know, that, that's the whole thing. We've opened up a whole new lane for people to tell their stories from back in the early days of hip hop. Yeah. And it's a lot of guys that have never, never got any light in 30, 40, maybe even 50 years. Oh, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's people like you guys just giving the flowers and making sure the name's out there, making sure people say, who is that? Let me Google that person. Let me, let me see what's up with that. Right. And you'll yeah. get like yeah. you know, on the East Uncle Jam's army. You mm -hmm. know, Roger Clayton, there's Big so much time. history here. The times with Run DMC and Houdini came out here for the first time. <sighs> It's uh, there's so much history out here. It is so much history. That's Shout a fact. Shout out to man. my man Cut Chemist, who's got those yeah. Uncle Jam's flyers that were. Shout to out to the Booyah the tribe. Rest in peace to the Samoan Godfather. You know it goes down in the AM right here at nine three five KD Morning Show Hip Hop Museum. It is going down starting tomorrow from eleven to seven at the Hudson Loft, twelve hundred South Hope Street. Pull up at eleven o'clock from eleven AM to seven. It is absolutely free. Shouts out to Entertainment Group, Mass Appeal, and Ciroc Ultra Premium Vodka. I'm having me some. Rock tonight. I ain't gonna lie. P. Nice, Paradise in the yeah. building. This year for hip hop's 50th birthday, it's all about giving out flowers, right? Showing yeah. love. Is there any body on the West Coast you just want to show some love to before you roll out? Absolutely. You know? I want to send Grandmaster Flowers to my homegirl, Yo Yo. What up, Yo Yo? What up, boo? Well, you know, Yo Yo, I invited Yo Yo to the party, but she headed to Houston today. So okay. She's yeah. Naked. Also, we, like we have a TV show with Yo Yo called Hip Hop Treasure. Tell them about it, Pete. So, Yo Yo, we send her out into the field to track down the artifacts. Yeah. And, like, everybody just gives her everything. Like, she, we said, Give it she up. went out to Treacher's crib. Yeah. Got whatever Tre she wanted. Treacher gave her his Grammy. What? His Naughty by Nature gold, uh, platinum OPP record. Yo, it's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. Yo Yo could get anything from anybody. Well, Yo Yo wants Secret she weapon gets. of the hip hop museum yeah, yeah. in the also, Bronx. Also, shouts to so. LL Cool J, my man Ice Cube. Shouts to Big Snoop. Yeah, man. Shouts to Daz and Corrupt. Dog Power? My man, Too Short, MC Hammer. There's so many of y'all that help with this history of hip hop. It's amazing. California knows how to party. Hey. And we got some legends coming out tonight. I saw DJ Muggs. Our boy DJ Muggs was on the list. Cypress Hill so in the building, yeah, hopefully man. Hopefully we get a lot of people come out support the museum. I yeah, know yeah. that they will, man. Make sure y'all pull up once again. Hip Hop Museum It's all about the 50th anniversary of hip hop. Starting tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And it's free. Hudson Law, 12 Rest in peace, Eazy E, baby. Yes, and shouts out to the family of Eazy E because Compton is going to give a street name to Eazy E. It was announced this week. It's going to be called Easy Street. So Here we go now. We're going to be celebrating hey, we that. We're doing that New York City, too, for like our boy K Slay. Yeah. Rest in peace, DJ K Slay just had his street naming as well. Pete and Nice. Shout base. out to Mark the 45 King. Let me Word. clear my dope. <clears throat> Then a none of paradise. X Clan, I appreciate y'all pulling up. This means a lot, man, for hip hop. It means a lot for the West Coast and the hip hop museum. Trust me, KD Nation is gonna come. Yo, we need you. All right, yo, two, three, make it do what it do. It's 935 KD's morning show. Romeo, let's go. How we do it? <laughs>